you know, we're the number crunchers here at Fox, so we thought we'd crunch some of these numbers. Here's where they stand. $29 billion for Bear Stearns, $200 billion, Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, now $85 billion to bail out AIG. And in the president's $168 billion stimulus package and another proposed $50 billion stimulus package, we are talking more than a half trillion dollars. Now, can taxpayers afford it? Former presidential candidate Ron Paul has a one-word answer, no. Congressman, not convinced, huh? Oh, no. I, I think your numbers are low. Let's hope it's only a half a trillion. My numbers are much higher. They're unknown because we, uh, with that legislation to bail out Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, it was unlimited. Let the Treasury decide. So it, it's going to go up and up, and every day you hear of another emergency. So what but would you th have done, Congressman, when, let's say, I guess Freddie and Fannie are the biggest. I know we talk about Bear Stearns that right. was rescued, Lehman that wasn't, AIG that was. Freddie and Fannie seemed to be like the penultimate, that they had to be rescued. Did they? No, I don't. I don't think so. They should have looked at what I was saying five years ago. Somebody put a speech on the internet this morning, which I sort of forgot about. But five years ago, before the committee, I said this line of credit to the Treasury is artificial. It's adding fuel to the fire. The Fed's at fault, but you add fuel to the fire with lines of credit, uh, community investment acts, you know, uh, and F HUD and all this affirmative action. This causes malinvestment, overbuilding, and it was a bubble forming. And my proposal back then was to remove the line of credit because a bubble was forming was going to lead to a lot of trouble. And that's exactly where we are. But you can't solve this problem by saying it's all the Republicans or all the Democrats. Well, I agree. It I, has to do with monetary policy. I, I hear you on that. And, and here's, we're now, we got this pickle, right? And, and now I'm worried that fears cascade upon fears and take out the good uh, with the bad. And that appears to be happening now when big name brokerage houses like Goldman and Morgan uh, that are not nearly as tainted by any of this mortgage stuff get, get dragged down. W where, where do you see this going? It has a long way to go. I think what you're seeing is the unwinding of trillions of dollars of derivatives. Nobody knows about it. When a guy like Warren Buffett admits he doesn't understand them and it's a big mess, you know it's a big mess. So it's the derivatives. Everybody's involved. AIG, I thought, they talk about assets and they were okay and they don't worry that much. Turns out that assets had to do with derivatives. And uh, this, this is all a fiction. It's, a, it's an expansion. It's part of the bubble that is started by the Federal Reserve and everybody speculates. I mean, they buy derivatives on derivatives on derivatives. It has to unwind. You can't build on a weak foundation, and that's what everybody's trying to do. And unless you recognize the problem and say it's an unsound monetary system, you're going to see the destruction of dollar. I mean, don't, won't people get a wondering about going and, and, and going to uh, something of real value? I mean, what, what happened to gold today? Finally, people so say, when hey, both maybe this system uh, is unsound. I, I, hear, I hear, Congressman, but when both of the premier presidential candidates talk about more bailouts or more rescue money or, or re-regulating that will cost a great deal of money. What do you say? I say they're completely wrong. I mean, they're going to compound the problem because that's going to weaken the dollar. I mean, all this money that we use for bailing out is creation of money out of credit. Where did it get this $85 billion? Did it come out of your pocket or my pocket? No. Did it come from an appropriation? No. It's just the Federal Reserve over there guaranteeing right. credits, expanding. And that is destructive to the dollar. This is very, very destructive to the dollar. When you destroy the dollar, you're going to destroy a home for a lot more people and medical care for everybody else okay. because you're going to see skyrocketing inflation. All right, Ron Paul, um, always good having you. Thank you. The name at the center of this cell today, AIG, the guy who used to run it, Hank Greenberg, is here. Does he